Ghana. Officially the Republic of Ghana, is a country located along the Gulf of Guinea and Atlantic Ocean. In the sub-region of West Africa, spanning a land mass of, Ghana is bordered by the Ivory Coast in the west, Burkina Faso in the north, Togo in the east, and the Gulf of Guinea and Atlantic Ocean in the south. Ghana means warrior king in the Soninck language. The first permanent state in the territory of present-day Ghana dates back to the 11th century. Numerous kingdoms and empires emerged over the centuries, of which the most powerful was the Kingdom of Ashanti, beginning in the 15th century. The Portuguese Empire, followed by numerous other European powers, contested the area for trading rights, until the British ultimately established control of the coast by the late 19th century. Following over a century of native resistance, Ghana's current borders were established by the 1900s as the British Gold Coast. It became independent of the United Kingdom on 6 March 1957. Ghana's population of approximately 30 million spans a variety of ethnic, linguistic and religious groups. Its diverse geography and ecology ranges from coastal savannas to tropical rainforests. Ghana is a unitary constitutional democracy led by a president who is both head of state and head of the government. Ghana's growing economic prosperity and democratic political system have made it a regional power in West Africa. Etymology The etymology of the word Ghana means warrior king and was the title accorded to the kings of the medieval Ghana Empire in West Africa, but the empire was further north than the modern country of Ghana, in the region of Guinea. History Medieval Kingdoms Ghana was already recognized as one of the great kingdoms in Bilo del Sudan by the 9th century. Ghana was inhabited in the Middle Ages and the Age of Discovery by a number of ancient predominantly Akan kingdoms in the southern and central territories. This included the Ashanti Empire, the Akwamu, the Bonaman, the Denki era, and the Mankesim Kingdom. Although the area of present-day Ghana in West Africa has experienced many population movements, the Akans were firmly settled by the 5th century CE. By the early 11th century, the Akans were firmly established in the Akan state called Bonaman, for which the Brongahafa region is named. From the 13th century, Akans emerged from what is believed to have been the Bonaman area, to create several Akan states of Ghana mainly based on gold trading. These states included Bonaman Brongahafa region, Ashanti Ashanti region, Denki era western north region, Mankesim kingdom central region, and Akwamu eastern region. The earliest known kingdoms to emerge in modern Ghana were the Moldagbani states. With their advanced weapons and based on a central authority, they easily invaded and occupied the lands of the local people ruled by the Tendamba land god priests, established themselves as the rulers over the locals, and made Gambega their capital. The death of Nagbua caused civil war among his children, some of whom broke off and founded separate states including Dagban, Mampragu, Mossi, Nanumba, and Walla. European contact 15th century. Akan trade with European states began after contact with the Portuguese in the 15th century. Early European contact by the Portuguese people, who came to the Gold Coast region in the 15th century to trade and then established the Portuguese Gold Coast Costa do Ouro, focused on the extensive availability of gold. In 1481, King John II of Portugal commissioned Don Diego de Zambua to build the Elmina Castle, which was completed in three years. In 1617, the Dutch captured the Olnini Castle from the Portuguese, and Exim in 1642 Fort St. Anthony, also beginning in the 17th century. In addition to the gold trade, Portuguese, Dutch, English, and French traders also participated in the Atlantic slave trade in this area. More than 30 forts and castles were built by the Portuguese, Swedish, Dana Norwegians, Dutch and German merchants, the latter Germans establishing the German Gold Coast Brandenburg Gold Coast or Gross Friedrichsberg. In 1874 Great Britain established control over some parts of the country, assigning these areas the status of British Gold Coast. Many military engagements occurred between the British colonial powers and the various Akan nation-states. 
the Akan Kingdom of Ashanti defeated the British a few times in the 100-year-long Anglo-Ashanti Wars but eventually lost with the War of the Golden Stool in the early 1900s. Transition to Independence In 1947, the newly formed United Gold Coast Convention UGCC led by the Big Six called for self-government within the shortest possible time following the Gold Coast Legislative Election, 1946. Kwame Nkrumah was the first Prime Minister of Ghana and the first President of Ghana and formed the Convention People's Party CPP with the motto Self-Government Now. At the time of independence Nkrumah declared, My first objective is to abolish from Ghana poverty, ignorance, and disease. We shall measure our progress by the improvement in the health of our people, by the number of children in school, and by the quality of their education by the availability of water and electricity in our towns and villages, and by the happiness which our people take in being able to manage their own affairs. The welfare of our people is our chief pride, and it is by this that the government will ask to be judged. The flag of Ghana, consisting of the colors red, gold, green, and a black star, became the new flag in 1957 when Gold Coast gained its name Ghana. Nkrumah was the first African head of state to promote the concept of Pan-Africanism, which he had been introduced to during his studies at Lincoln University, Pennsylvania in the United States, at the time when Marcus Garvey was becoming famous for his Back to Africa movement. His life achievements were recognized by Ghanaians during his centenary birthday celebration, and the day was instituted as a public holiday in Ghana Founders Day. Operation Cold Chop in Aftermath the government of Nkrumah was subsequently overthrown by a coup by the Ghana Armed Forces codenamed Operation Cold Chop. This occurred while Nkrumah was abroad with Zhu Enlai in the People's Republic of China, on a fruitless mission to Hanoi in Vietnam to help end the Vietnam War. The coup took place on 24 February 1966, led by Colonel. Emmanuel Kwasi Kotoka. The National Liberation Council NLC was formed chaired by Lieutenant General Joseph A. Ankara, a series of alternating military and civilian governments, often affected by economic instabilities, ruled Ghana from 1966 to 1981, ending with the ascension to power of Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings of the Provisional National Defense Council PNDC in 1981. These changes resulted in the suspension of the Constitution of Ghana in 1981 and the banning of political parties in Ghana. The economy soon declined, so Rawlings negotiated a structural adjustment plan changing many old economic policies, and economic growth soon recovered during the mid-1980s. Mills died of natural causes and was succeeded by Vice President John Gramani Mahama on 24 July 2012, following the Ghanaian presidential election, 2012. John Dramani Mahama became president-elect and was inaugurated on 7 January 2013. Ghana was a stable democracy. As a result of the Ghanaian presidential election, 2016, Nanu Akufo Addo became president-elect and was inaugurated as the fifth president of the Fourth Republic of Ghana and eighth president of Ghana on 7 January 2017. Historical Timeline Image size equals width colon 800 height auto bear increment colon 20 plot area equals top colon 10 bottom colon 50 right colon 130 left colon 20 align bars equals late date format equals dd slash and slash yi period equals from colon 01 slash 01 slash 1960 till colon 31 slash 12 slash 2020 time axis equals orientation Horizontal scale major equals unit year increment colon 10 start colon 1960 colors equals id military value RGB 0, 1, 1 legend, military id liberal value RGB 0, 0, 1 legend, liberal id democrat value RGB 1, 0, 6, 0 legend. Social underscore democratic socialist value RGB 1, 0, 0 legend, underscore socialist legend equals columns colon 4 left colon 150 top colon 24 column width colon 110 text data equals pose colon 20, 27 text color black font size M text, 
political parties, bar data equals bar set pm plot data equals width colon 5 align left font size s shift colon 5, minus 4 anchor till bar set pm from, the 1st of July 1960 till, the 24th of February 1966 color, socialist text, Ozaj Fokwame and Grumer font size colon 10 from, the 24th of February 1966 till, the 2nd of April 1969 color, military text, Major Joseph Arthur Ankara font size colon 10 from, the 2nd of April 1969 till, the 7th of August 1970 color, military text, Brigadier Aquasium Ankara Fry for font size colon 10 from, the 7th of August 1970 till, the 31st of August 1970 color, Liberal text, Nima Olenu font size colon 10 from, the 31st of August 1970 till, the 13th of January 1972 color, liberal text, Edward Akufo Addo font size colon 10 from, the 13th of January 1972 till, the 5th of July 1978 color, military text, Colonel Ignatius Kutu Akim Pong font size colon 10 from, the 5th of July 1978 till, the 4th of June 1979 color, military text, Lieutenant General Frederick Fred William Kwasi Akifo font size colon 10 from, the 4th of June 1979 till, the 24th of September 1979 color, military text. Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings font size colon 10 from, the 24th of September 1979 till, the 31st of December 1981 color, Democrat text, Hilleliman font size colon 10 from, the 31st of December 1981 till, the 7th of January 1992 color, military text, Jerry John Rawlings font size colon 10 from, the 7th of January 1992 till, the 7th of January 2001 color, Democrat text, Jerry John Rawlings font size colon 10 from, the 7th of January 2001 till, the 7th of January 2009 color, liberal text, John A. Jekum Q. Fewer font size colon 10 from, the 7th of January 2009 till, the 24th of July 2012 color, Democrat text, Professor John Evans at a Mills font size colon 10 from, the 24th of July 2012 till, the 7th of January 2016 color, Democrat text, John Dramani Mahama font size colon 10 from, the 7th of January 2016 till, end color, liberal text, Nano underscore Akufo Addo font size colon 10. Geography and Geology. Ghana is located on the Gulf of Guinea, only a few degrees north of the equator, therefore giving it a warm climate. It lies between latitudes 4 degrees and 45 minutes north and 11 degrees north, and longitudes 1 degree and 15 minutes east and 3 degrees and 15 minutes west. The primed meridian passes through Ghana, specifically through the industrial port town of Tima. The northernmost part of Ghana is Palmakong and the southernmost part of Ghana is Cape Three Points. Nanu Akufo Addo won the presidency in the Ghanaian general election held on 7 December 2016, defeating incumbent John Mahama. He was sworn in on 7 January 2017. The 2012 Fragile States Index indicated that Ghana is ranked the 67th least fragile state in the world and the 5th least fragile state in Africa after Mauritius, 2nd Seychelles, 3rd Botswana and 4th South Africa. Ghana ranked 112th out of 177 countries on the index. Ghana ranked as the 64th least corrupt and politically corrupt country in the world out of all 174 countries ranked and Ghana ranked as the 5th least corrupt and politically corrupt country in Africa out of 53 countries in the 2012 Transparency International Corruption Perception Index. Ghana was ranked 7th in Africa out of 53 countries in the 2012 Ibrahim Index of African Governance.
The Ibrahim Index is a comprehensive measure of African government, based on a number of different variables which reflect the success with which governments deliver essential political goods to its citizens. Nkrumah was a Ghanaian nationalist leader who led the country from 1957 to 1966. Nkrumah's political journey started when he entered Lincoln University in Pennsylvania in 1935. He graduated with master's degrees from Lincoln University and the University of Pennsylvania. He formed the Convention People's Party. The party initiated a positive action campaign involving non-violent protests, strikes and non-cooperation with the British authorities. Nkrumah was arrested and sentenced to one-year imprisonment during this time. In the Gold Coast's February 1951 general election, he was elected to parliament and released from prison to become leader of government business. He became prime minister of the Gold Coast in 1952's leadership was authoritarian but he improved the infrastructure of the country and his Africanization policies created better career opportunities for Ghanaians. He was deposed in a coup in 1966. Foreign Relations Since Independence Ghana has been devoted to ideals of non-alignment and is a founding member of the non-aligned movement. Ghana favors international and regional political and economic cooperation, and is an active member of the United Nations and the African Union. Ghana has a strong relationship with the United States. Three recent U.S. presidents Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama, made diplomatic trips to Ghana. Many Ghanaian diplomats and politicians hold positions in international organizations, including Ghanaian diplomat and former Secretary General of the United Nations Kofi Annan, International Criminal Court Judge Aku Kwanaiya, and former President Jerry John Rawlings and former President John A. Jekum Kafour, who both served as diplomats of the United Nations. China reciprocated with an official visit in November 2011, by the Vice Chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of China, Zhu Xinan who visited Ghana and met with Ghana's President John Dramani Mahama. The Islamic Republic of Iran and the 6th President of Iran, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad met with the 12th President of Ghana. John Dramani Mahama on 16 April 2013 to hold discussions with President John Dramani Mahama on strengthening the non-aligned movement and also co-chair a bilateral meeting between Ghana and Iran at the Ghanaian Presidential Palace Flagstaff House. The government of Ghana reciprocated with an official state visit on 5 August 2013 by the Vice President of Ghana, Kwesi Amisuatha, who met with the Vice President of Iran, Ishak Jahangiri on the basis of autarky and possible bilateral trade at the Islamic Republic of Iran's Presidential Palace, Sadabad Palace. Law Enforcement and Police the Ghana Police Service GPS and the Criminal Investigation Department SID are the main law enforcement agencies of the Republic of Ghana, and are responsible for the detection of crime, maintenance of law and order and the maintenance of internal peace and security. The Ghana Police Service has 11 specialized police units including a militarized police rapid deployment force RDF and Marine Police Unit MPU. The Ghana Police Service's Marine Police Unit and Division handles issues that arise from the country's offshore oil and gas industry. Ghana retains and exercises the death penalty for treason, corruption, robbery, piracy, drug trafficking, rape, and homicide. 27 convicts all men were sentenced to death in Ghana in 2012 and the Ghana Prisons Service statistics of the total number of convicts sentenced to death in Ghana was 162 men and 4 women. The new sustainable development goals adopted by the United Nations call for the international community to come together to promote the rule of law, support equal access to justice for all, reduce corruption and develop effective, accountable, and transparent institutions at all levels. Ghana and Drug War and the Narcotic Control Board Ghana is used as a key narcotics industry transshipment point by traffickers, usually from South America as well as some from other African nations. There is not a wide or popular knowledge about the narcotics industry and intercepted narcotics within Ghana itself, due to the industry's operations and involvement in the underground economy. The social context within which narcotic trafficking, storage, transportation, 
and repacking systems exist in Ghana and the state's location along the Gulf of Guinea within the Atlantic Ocean only a few degrees north of the equator makes Ghana an attractive country for the narcotics business. The Narcotic Control Board NACAP has impounded container ships at the Sikandi Naval Base in the Takaradi Harbour. These ships were carrying thousands of kilograms of cocaine, with a street value running into billions of Ghana cities. However, drug seizures saw a decline in 2011. Ghanaian Prime Minister and President Kwame Nkrumah aimed at rapidly expanding the GAF to support the United States of Africa ambitions. Thus in 1961, 4th and 5th Battalions were established, and in 1964 6th Battalion was established, from a parachute airborne unit originally raised in 1963. Today, Ghana is a regional power and regional hegemon. In his book Shake Hands with the Devil, Canadian Forces Commander Romeo Dallaire highly rated the GAF soldiers and military personnel. GAF military operations are executed under the auspices and imperium of the Ministry of Defence Mod Minister for Defence. Although Ghana is relatively peaceful and is often considered to be one of the least violent countries in the region, Ghana has experienced political violence in the past and 2017 has thus far seen an upward trend in incidents motivated by political grievances. In 2017, Ghana signed the UN Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. Administrative Divisions Ghana is divided into 10 now 16 administrative regions, subdivided into 275 districts. Human Rights Homosexual acts are prohibited by law in Ghana. According to 2013 survey by the Pew Research Center, 96% of Ghanaians believe that homosexuality should not be accepted by society. Sometimes old women in Ghana are accused of witchcraft, particularly in rural Ghana. Issues of witchcraft mainly remain as speculations based on superstitions within families. In some parts of northern Ghana, there exists what are called witch camps. This is said to house a total of around 1,000 people accused of witchcraft. While women in Ghana are given equal rights under the Constitution of Ghana, disparities in education, employment, and health care for women remain prevalent. Economy Key Sectors Ghana is an average natural resource-enriched country possessing industrial minerals, hydrocarbons and precious metals. It is an emerging designated digital economy with mixed economy hybridization and an emerging market with 8. 7% GDP growth in 2012. It is an economic plan target known as the Ghana Vision 2020. This plan envisions Ghana as the first African country to become a developed country between 2020 and 2029 and a newly industrialized country between 2030 and 2039. This excludes fellow group of 24 member and sub-Saharan African country South Africa, which is a newly industrialized country. Ghana's economy also has ties to the Chinese Yuan Renminbi along with Ghana's vast gold reserves. In 2013, the Bank of Ghana began circulating the renminbi throughout Ghanaian state-owned banks and to the Ghana public as hard currency along with the national Ghana city for second national trade currency. Between 2012 and 2013, 37. 9% of rural dwellers were experiencing poverty whereas only 10. 6% of urban dwellers were. Urban areas hold greater opportunity for employment, particularly in informal trade, while nearly all 94% of rural poor households participate in the agricultural sector. The state-owned Volta River Authority and Ghana National Petroleum Corporation are the two major electricity producers. In addition, the government of Ghana has sought to build a second nuclear power plant in Africa. The Ghana Stock Exchange is the fifth largest on continental Africa and third largest in sub-Saharan Africa with a market capitalization of GH cent 57. 2 billion or CN 180. 4 billion in 2012 with the South Africa JSE Limited as first. The Ghana Stock Exchange GSE was the second best performing stock exchange in sub-Saharan Africa in 2013. Ghana also produces high-quality cocoa, 
It is the second largest producer of cocoa globally, and was projected to become the world's largest producer of cocoa in 2015. Ghana is classified as a middle-income country. Services account for 50% of GDP, followed by manufacturing 24. 1%, extractive industries 5%, and taxes 20. 9%, and industries such as information and communications technology primarily via Ghana's state digital technology corporation RLG communications which manufactures tablet computers with smartphones and various consumer electronics. Petroleum and natural gas production. Ghana produces and exports an abundance of hydrocarbons such as sweet crude oil and natural gas. The 100% state-owned filling station company of Ghana, Ghana Oil Company Goyle is the number one petroleum and gas filling station of Ghana and the 100% state-owned state oil company Ghana National Petroleum Corporation GNPC oversees hydrocarbon exploration and production of Ghana's entire petroleum and natural gas reserves. Ghana aims to further increase output of oil to per day and gas to per day. Ghana's Jubilee oil field which contains up to a sweet crude oil was discovered in 2007, among the many other offshore and inland oil fields in Ghana. Ghana is believed to have up to two of petroleum in reserves, which is the fifth largest in Africa and the 21st to 25th largest proven reserves in the world. It also has up to of natural gas in reserves, which is the sixth largest in Africa and the 49th largest natural gas proven reserves in the world. Oil and gas exploration off Ghana's eastern coast on the Gulf of Guinea is ongoing, and the amount of both crude oil and natural gas continues to increase. The government of Ghana has drawn up plans to nationalize Ghana's entire petroleum and natural gas reserves to increase government revenue. Industrial Minerals Mining Known for its industrial minerals, Ghana is the world's seventh largest producer of gold, producing over 102 metric tons of gold and the tenth largest producer of gold in the world in 2012, producing 89 metric tons of gold. Ghana is the second largest producer of gold on the Africa continent behind South Africa. Ghana has the ninth largest reserves, and is the ninth largest producer, of diamonds in the world. Industrial minerals and exports from South Ghana are gold, silver, timber, diamonds, bauxite, and manganese. South Ghana also has great deposits of barite, basalt, clay, dolomite, feldspar, granite, gravel, gypsum, iron ore, kaolin, laterite, limestone, magnesite, marble, mica, phosphates, phosphorus, rocks, salts, sand, sandstone, silver, slate, talc, and uranium that are yet to be fully exploited. The government of Ghana has drawn up plans to nationalize Ghana's entire mining industry to increase government revenues. Real Estate the real estate and housing market of Ghana has become an important and strategic economic sector, particularly in the urban centers of South Ghana such as Accra, Kumasi, Sikandi Takaradi and Tima. Kumasi is growing at a fast rate than Accra, and there is less competition in its real estate market. Ghana's labor force in 2008 totaled 11.5 million Ghanaian citizens. Tima Harbour is Africa's largest harbour and Takaradi Harbour along with Tima Harbour in Ghana handles goods and exports for Ghana. They are also traffic junctions where goods are transshipped. The Tima Harbour handles the majority of the nation's export cargo and most of the country's chief exports is shipped from Takaradi Harbour. Electricity Generation Sector Severe shortages of electricity in 2015 and 2016 led to dumps of persistent, irregular and unpredictable electric power outages, increasing the interest in renewables. As of 2019, there is now a surplus of electricity which now presents a new set of financial challenges. Economic Transparency According to Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index of 2018, out of 180 countries, Ghana was ranked 78th, with a score of 41 on a scale where a 0 to 9 score means highly corrupt, and a 90 to 100 score means very clean. 
This was based on perceived levels of public sector corruption. In 2013, out of 177 countries, Ghana was ranked 63rd with Cuba and Saudi Arabia with a score of 46. Previously in 2012, the country ranked 64 and scored 45. Thus, Ghana's public sector scored lower in 2013 than in 2012, according to CPI's scores. Local reports have claimed that Ghana loses 4 US dollars. 5 billion annually from nominal gross domestic product nominal GDP growth as a result of economic corruption and economic crime by the incumbent National Democratic Congress and DC government of Ghana led by John Dramani Mahama. It is also said Ghana has lost an additional 2 US dollars. 5 billion from nominal gross domestic product nominal GDP growth between the months of January 2013 to October 2013 through economic corrupt practices under the Mahama administration. The incumbent president is however seen to be fighting corruption by some government members, and a fellow politician of an opposition party, after ordering investigations into scandals. Nonetheless others believe his actions are not sufficient in some cases. John Addo Q. Fewer, son of former President John A. Jekum Q. Fewer, and Kojo Annan, son of former Secretary General of the United Nations Kofi Annan, have been named in association with the Panama Papers. Science and Technology Ghana was the first sub-Saharan African country to launch a cellular mobile network 1992. It was one of the first countries in Africa to be connected to the internet and to introduce ADSL broadband services. Space and Satellite Programs The Ghana Space Science and Technology Center GSSTC and Ghana Space Agency GSO oversee the space exploration and space programs of Ghana. GSSTC and GSO worked to have a national security observational satellite launched into orbit in 2015. The first practical step in its endeavor was a CONSAT launched on 15 May 2013, a space program spearheaded by the All Nations University College Anak in Kofa Ridua. The CONSAT was deployed high from a helium-filled balloon and took some aerial images as well as temperature readings. As its next step in advancing space science and satellite technology in the sub-region, an amateur ground station has been designed and built by the university. It has successfully tracked and communicated with several amateur radio satellites in orbit including the International Space Station, receiving slow scan TV images on 18 and 20 December 2014. The miniaturized Earth observational satellite is to be launched into orbit in 2017. Ghana's annual space exploration expenditure has been 1% of its gross domestic product GDP, to support research in science and technology. In 2012, Ghana was elected to chair the Commission on Science and Technology for Sustainable Development in the South Comsats. Ghana has a joint effort in space exploration with South Africa's South African National Space Agency SANSA. Ghana's intention to become the information technology hub of West Africa has led the government of Ghana to enact cybercrime legislation and enhance cybersecurity practices. Ghana is ranked second on continental Africa and seventh globally in cyber warfare, cyber terrorism, cybercrime, and internet crime. Health and Biotechnology The Center for Scientific Research into Plant Medicine is an agency of the Ministry of Health that was set up in the 1970s for both R&D and as a practical resource product production and distribution, provision primarily in areas of biotechnology related to medicinal plants. This includes both herbal medicine and work on more advanced applications. It also has a secondary role as an educational resource for foreign students in health biotechnology and related fields. Education Overview Ghanaian education system is divided in three parts basic education, secondary cycle and tertiary education. Basic education lasts 11 years ages 4 question mark 15. Once the bis achieved, the pupil can pursue into secondary cycle. Hence, the pupil has the choice between general education assumed by senior high school and vocational education assumed by technical senior high school, technical, and vocational institutes. 
completed by a massive private and informal offer. Senior high school lasts three years and ends on the West African Secondary School Certificate Examination WAS. The WAS is prerequisite to be enrolled into a university bachelor's degree program. Polytechnics are open to vocational students, from SHS or from TVI. A bachelor's degree usually lasts four years, can be followed by a one- or two-year master's degree, which can be concluded in three years by a PhD. A polytechnic lasts two or three years. The Ghanaian education system from kindergarten up to an undergraduate degree level takes 20 years. The ratio of females to males in the total education system was 0. 98 in 2014 foreign students Ghana's education system annually attracts a large number of foreign students particularly in the university sector funding of education the government largely funds basic education comprising public primary schools and public junior high schools senior high schools were subsidized by the government until September 2017 2018 academic year that senior high education became free at the higher education level the government funds more than 80 percent of resources provided to public universities polytechnics and teacher training colleges as part of the free compulsory universal basic education cube the government supplies all basic education schools with all their textbooks and other educational supplies like exercise books. Senior high schools are also provided with all their textbook requirement by the government. Private schools acquire their educational material from private suppliers. Kindergarten and education structure. The female and male ages 15 to 24 years literacy rate in Ghana was 81% in 2010, with males at 82%, and females at 80%. Ghanaian children begin their education at the age of 3 or 4 starting from kindergarten nursery school and preschool, then to elementary school primary school, high school junior high school and senior high school and finally university. The average age at which a Ghanaian child enters primary school is 6 years. And, under the educational reforms implemented in 1988 and reformed in 2007, they pass on to a three-year junior high school system. At the end of the third year of junior high, there is a mandatory basic education certificate examination. Those continuing must complete the four-year senior high school program which has been changed to three years and take an admission exam to enter any university or tertiary program. The Ghanaian education system from nursery school up to an undergraduate degree level takes 20 years. In 2010, there were relatively more females 53.0% than males 40.5% with primary school and JSS junior secondary school, JHS junior high school as their highest level of education. Integrated or general science, pre-vocational skills and pre-technical skills, religious and moral education, and physical activities such as Ghanaian music and dance, and physical education. Apart from most primary and secondary schools which choose the Ghanaian system of schooling, there are also international schools such as the Tekaradi International School, Timu International School, Galaxy International School, the Roman Ridge School, Lincoln Community School, Faith Montessori School, American International School, Alpha Beta Christian College, Ghana Christian International High School, Association International School, New Nation School, SOS Herman Gminner International College, Vilak International School, Akasambo International School which offers Cambridge O-Level Certificate, North Legan Little Campus and International Community School, which offer the International Baccalaureate, Advanced Level General Certificate of Education and the International General Certificate of Secondary Education X. Ghana has a growing number of accredited private universities including Lancaster University, Ghana, Ghana Technology University College, Ashesi University College, Methodist University College Ghana, Central University College, Accra Institute of Technology, Regent University College of Science and Technology, Valley View University, Catholic University College, Presbyterian University College, and Zenith University College. 
the oldest university in Ghana, the University of Ghana, was founded in 1948. It had 29,754 students in 2008. Its programs in the arts, humanities, business, and the social sciences, as well as medicine, are among the best in the country. Many universities, including Harvard University, Cornell University, and Oxford University, have special study abroad programs with Ghanaian schools and provide their students the opportunity to study abroad at Ghanaian universities. New York University has a campus in Accra. The University of Ghana has seen a shift of its traditionally best students to the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Since Ghana's independence, the country has been one of the most educational in sub-Saharan Africa. Former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan has been Chancellor of the University of Ghana since 2008. By the 10th century AD, the Gwans were the first settlers in Ghana long before the other tribes came. Akans had established Bonham and Brongahafa region and were joined by the current settlers and inhabitants by the 16th century. In 2010, the population of Ghana was 72.2% Christian 24.3% Pentecostal, 18.4% Protestant, 13.1% Catholic and 11. 4% are there, approximately 18. 6% of the population of Ghana are Muslim, just over 10,000 Ghanaians practice Hinduism, with most of them being indigenous converts. Hinduism in Ghana was popularized by Swami Ganandaji, who opened several temples in the nation. The Temple of Lord Shiva in Akru is one of the largest where there are celebrations to Ganesh Chaturthi, Rat Yatra, and other Hindu observations. The Baha'i religious community, established in Ghana in 1951, today includes more than 100 communities and over 50 local Baha'i administrative councils, called local spiritual assemblies. There are 375,000 registered legal skilled workers permanent residents or foreign workers, students I. E. Ghana cardholders inhabitants with an annually one. 5 million transited airport layovers. In its first post colonial census in 1960, Ghana had a population of 6. 7 million. The median age of Ghanaian citizens is 30 years old and the average household size is 3. 6 persons. The government of Ghana states that the official language of Ghana is English, around 29% of the population is under the age of 15 while persons aged 15 to 64 make up 57.8% of the population. The Ashanti region had the most, Akan Ashanti 4, 7 million in Ashanti, 2, 3 million in Brongahafo, 2, 2 million in Central, 2, 6 million in Eastern, 2, 3 million in Western, and 4 million in the seat of government in Greater Accra geographically and legally part of East and then administered separately on 23 July 1982. 4. 1 million persons reside in the Northern Territories 2. 4 million in Northern, 1 million in Upper East, and 0. 7 million in Upper West. Government of Ghana with BGU Border Guard Unit deported over 3 million aliens and illegal immigrants in three months as they made up 20% of the population at the time. In 2013, there was a mass deportation of illegal minors. More than 4,000 of them Chinese nationals. Languages English is the official language and lingua franca. Additionally, there are 11 languages that have the status of government-sponsored languages. Gafor Akan languages Asanti Twi, Akuapam Twi, Fanti and Nzmatu Mol Dagbani ethnic languages Dagan Air and Dagmanliu Dangmguan K. Some of these, Akan is the most widely spoken. Since Ghana is surrounded by French-speaking countries, French is widely taught in schools and universities, as well as a language used for commercial and international economic exchanges. Since 2006, Ghana has been an associate member of the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie, the global organisation that unites French-speaking countries 84 nations on six continents. In 2005, over 350 Ghanaian children studied French in schools. Since then, 
its status has progressively been updated to a mandatory language in every high school. Religion. Ghana is a largely Christian country, although a sizable Muslim minority exists. Traditional indigenous beliefs are also practiced. Fertility and reproductive health. The fertility rate of Ghana declined from 3. 99 2000 to 3. 28 2010 with 2. 78 in urban region and 3. 94 in rural region. The maternal mortality rate was 350 deaths slash 100,000 live births, and the infant mortality rate was 38. 52 deaths slash 1,000 live births. 4% of women in Ghana have undergone female genital mutilation FGM. The practice has been made illegal in the country. Ghana is also the birth country of anti-FGM campaigner Ifuador Kanu. Crime. Crime in Ghana is investigated by the Ghana Police Service. Ghana had a murder rate of 1. 68 per 100,000 population in 2011. Universal health care and life expectancy. Ghana has a universal health care system strictly designated for Ghanaian nationals. National Health Insurance Scheme NHAIS. Healthcare is very variable throughout Ghana and in 2012, over 12 million Ghanaian nationals were covered by the National Health Insurance Scheme Ghana Heis. Urban centers are well served, and contain most of the hospitals, clinics, and pharmacies in Ghana. There are over 200 hospitals in Ghana and Ghana is a destination for medical tourism. In 2010, there were zero. 1 physicians per 1,000 people and 0. 9 hospital beds per 1,000 people. And in 2013 infant mortality decreased to 39 per 1,000 live births. Sources vary on life expectancy at birth. The World Health Organization WHO estimated 62 years for men and 64 years for women born in 2016. There was an estimation of 15 physicians and 93 nurses per 100,000 persons in 2010. 5. 2% 2 of Ghana's GDP was spent on health in 2010, and all Ghanaian citizens have the right to access primary health care. The HIV-AIDS prevalence was estimated at 1. 40% among adults aged 15 to 49. Culture. Ghanaian culture is a diverse mixture of the practices and beliefs of many different Ghanaian ethnic groups. The 2010 census reported that the largest ethnic groups are the Akan 47, 3%, the Moldagbani 16, 6%, the U13, 9%, the Gadangm 7, 4%, the Gumma 5. 7 and the Guan 3, 7%. The Akan make up a majority of the population in the central 81, 7%, Western 78, 2%, Ashanti 74, 2%, Brongaha 58, 9% and Eastern 51, 1% regions. Fufu is the most common exported Ghanaian dish in that it is a delicacy across the African diaspora. In addition to novels, other literature arts such as Ghanaian theatre and poetry have also had a very good development and support at the national level with prominent Ghanaian playwrights and poets Joe de Graft and Ifua Sutherland. Traditional clothing. Along with the Adinkra cloth Ghanaians use many different cloth fabrics for their traditional attire. Different symbols and different colours mean different things. Today outside of Africa it is called Ankara and it is a client base well beyond Ghana and Africa as a whole. It is very popular among Caribbean peoples and African Americans, celebrities such as Solange Knowles and her sister Beyonce have been seen wearing African print attire. Many designers from countries in North America and Europe are now using African prints and it has gained a global interest. British luxury fashion house Burberry created a collection around Ghanaian styles. American musician Gwen Stefani has repeatedly incorporated African prints into her clothing line and can often be seen wearing it. Internationally acclaimed Ghanaian British designer Oswald Boateng introduced African print suits in his 2012 collection. Music and dance. 
The music of Ghana is diverse and varies between different ethnic groups and regions. Ghanaian music incorporates several distinct types of musical instruments such as the talking drum ensembles, Akan drum, goge fiddle and coloco lute, court music, including the Akan separa, the Akan atampan, the gakpan logo styles, and log xylophones used in Asenko music, and its earliest form of secular music, called high life. High life originated in the late 19th century and early 20th century and spread throughout West Africa. In December 2015, Rocky Doyuni became the first Ghanaian musician to be nominated for a Grammy Award in the Grammy Award for Best Reggae Album category for his sixth studio album titled Branches of the Same Tree released 31 March 2015. Ghanaian dance is as diverse as its music and there are traditional dances and different dances for different occasions. The most known Ghanaian dances are those for celebrations. These dances include the Adawa, Kpan Logo, Azanto, Klama, Agbadza, Borbaba, and Bamaya. Some internationally recognized films have come from Ghana. In 1970, I Told You So was one of the first Ghanaian films to receive international acknowledgement and received great reviews from the New York Times. It was followed by the 1973 Ghanaian and Italian production The African Deal also known as Contrato Carnal featuring Bahamian-American actor Calvin Lockhart. 1983's Q Carantumi, The Road to Accra, a Ghanaian and German production directed by King Ampor was written about by famous American film critic Vincent Canby. In 1987, Cobra Verd, another Ghanaian and German production directed by Werner Herzog, received international acclamation and in 1988, Heritage Africa won more than 12 film awards. In recent times there have been collaborations between Ghanaian and Nigerian crew and cast and a number of productions turned out. Many Ghanaian films are co-produced with Nollywood the Nigerian film industry, and some are distributed by Nigerian marketers. Also, Nigerian filmmakers often feature Ghanaian actors and actresses in their movies and Ghanaian filmmakers feature Nigerian actors and actresses in theirs. Nadia Bari, Yvonne Nelson, Lydia Fusson and Jackie Apaya all popular Ghanaian actresses and Van Vicker and Majid Michel both popular Ghanaian actors have starred in many Nigerian movies. As a result of these collaborations, Western viewers often confuse Ghanaian movies with Nollywood and count their sales as one, however, they are two independent industries that sometimes share Nollywood. In 2009, UNESCO described Nollywood as the second biggest film industry in the world after Bollywood. Media The media of Ghana are amongst the most free in Africa. Chapter 12 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana guarantees freedom of the press and independence of the media, while Chapter 2 prohibits censorship. Post-independence, the government and media often had a tense relationship, with private outlets closed during the military governments and strict media laws that prevented criticism of government. Press freedoms were restored in 1992, and after the election in 2000 of John A. Jekam Q. Fewer the tensions between the private media and government decreased. Q. Fewer supported press freedom and repealed a libel law, but maintained that the media had to act responsibly. The Ghanaian media has been described as one of the most unfettered in Africa, operating with little restriction. The private press often carries criticism of government policy. Sports Association football or soccer is the top spectator sport in Ghana and the national men's football team is known as the Black Stars, with the under-20 team known as the Black Satellites. In the 2010 FIFA World Cup, Ghana became the third African country to reach the quarter-final stage of the World Cup after Cameroon in 1990 and Senegal in 2002. Ghana national U-20 football team, known as the Black Satellites, is considered to be the feeder team for the Ghana national football team. Ghana is the first and only country on the Africa continent to be crowned FIFA U-20 World Cup champions.
Ghanaian football teams of Sandy Kotoko SC and Accra Hearts of Oak SC are the fifth and ninth best football teams on the Africa continent and have won a total of five Africa Continental Association Football and Confederation of African Football Trophies. Ghanaian football club Asante Kotoko SC has been crowned two-time CAF Champions League winners in 1970, 1983 and five-time CAF Champions League runners-up, and Ghanaian football club Accra Hearts of Oak SC has been crowned 2000 CAF Champions League winner and two-time CAF Champions League runners-up. 2001 CAF Super Cup Champions and 2004 CAF Confederation Cup Champions. There are several club football teams in Ghana that play in the Ghana Premier League and Division 1 League, both administered by the Ghana Football Association. Ghana competed in the Winter Olympics in 2010 for the first time. Ghana qualified for the 2010 Winter Olympics, scoring 137. 5 International Ski Federation points. Within the qualifying range of 120 to 140 points, Ghanaian skier, Kwame Nkrumah Akeem Pong, nicknamed the Snow Leopard, became the first Ghanaian to take part in the Winter Olympics. At the 2010 Winter Olympics held in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, taking part in the slalom skiing, Ghana finished 47th out of 102 participating nations, of whom 54 finished in the alpine skiing slalom. Kwame Nkrumah Akeem Pong broke on the international skiing circuit, being the second black African skier to do so. Ghanaian athletes have won a total of four Olympics medals in 13 appearances at the Summer Olympics, three in boxing, and a bronze medal in association football, and thus became the first country on the Africa continent to win a medal at association football. The country has also produced a number of world-class boxers, including Azuma Nelson a three-time world champion and considered as Africa's greatest boxer. Ghana's women's football team won bronze at the Africa Women Cup of Nations 2016 edition in Yaoundé, Cameroon. The team beat South Africa 1-0. Ghana will host the 2023 African Games in Accra. Cultural Heritage and Architecture There are two types of Ghanaian traditional construction, the series of adjacent buildings in an enclosure around a common are common and the traditional round huts with grass roof. The round huts with grass roof architecture are situated in the northern regions of Ghana northern, upper east and upper west regions, while the series of adjacent buildings are in the southern regions of Ghana Ashanti, Brongahafo, Central, Eastern, Greater Accra and Western regions. Ghana has museums that show an in-depth look at specific Ghanaian regions. There are a number of museums that provide insight into the traditions and history of their own geographical area in Ghana. 35% of Ghana's land mass is desert, 35% is forest, 30% is savanna and the lion panther a leo, a big cat, a ceremonial sword, a heraldic castle on a heraldic sea, a cocoa tree and a mine shaft representing the industrial mineral wealth of Ghana and a five-pointed black star rimmed with gold representing the mineral gold wealth of Ghana and the lodestar of the Ghanaian people. The flag of Ghana consists of three horizontal bands, strips of red top, gold middle and green bottom. The three bands are the same height and width. The middle band bears a five-pointed black star in the center of the gold band. The color red band stands for the blood spilled to achieve the nation's independence. Gold stands for Ghana's industrial mineral wealth and the color green symbolizes the rich tropical rainforests and natural resources of Ghana. Tourist arrivals to Ghana include South Americans, Asians, Europeans, and North Americans. The World Economic Forum statistics in 2010 showed that out of the world's favorite tourist destinations, Ghana was ranked 108th out of 139 countries. The country had moved two places up from the 2009 rankings. In 2011, Forbes magazine published that Ghana was ranked the 11th most friendly country in the world. The assertion was based on a survey in 2010 of a cross section of travelers. Of all the African countries that were included in the survey, Ghana ranked highest to enter Ghana.
it is necessary to have a visa authorized by the, formed from the merger of the British colony of the Gold Coast and the Togoland Trust Territory, Ghana in 1957 became the first sub-Saharan country in colonial Africa to gain its independence. Ghana endured a series of coups before Lieutenant Jerry Rawlings took power in 1981 and banned political parties. After approving a new constitution and restoring multi-party politics in 1992, Rawlings won presidential elections in 1992 and 1996 but was constitutionally prevented from running for a third term in 2000. John Q. Fewer of the opposition New Patriotic Party NPP, succeeded him and was re-elected in 2004. John Atta Mills of the National Democratic Congress won the 2008 presidential election and took over as head of state. Mills died in July 2012 and was constitutionally succeeded by his vice president, John Dramani Mahama, who subsequently won the December 2012 presidential election. In 2016, Nanu Adadang Kwakufo Addo of the NPP defeated Mahama marking the third time that Ghana's presidency has changed parties since the return to democracy. Geography Ghana Location Western Africa, bordering the Gulf of Guinea, between Côte d'Ivoire and Togo Geographic coordinates 800N-200W Map references Africa Area Total 238,533 square kilometers Land 227,533 square kilometers Water 11,000 square kilometers Country comparison to the world 83 Area Comparative Slightly smaller than Oregon Land boundaries Total 2,420 kilometers Border countries 3 Burkina Faso 602 km, Côte d'Ivoire 720 km, Togo 1098 km Coastline 539 km Maritime claims Territorial Sea 12 m. Exclusive Economic Zone 200 m. Contiguous Zone 24 m. Continental Shelf 200 m. Climate Tropical Warm and comparatively dry along southeast coast Hot and humid in southwest, hot and dry in north. Terrain. Mostly low plains with dissected plateau in south central area. Elevation. Mean elevation. 190 meters. Lowest point. Atlantic Ocean 0 meters. Highest point. Mount Fajato 885 meters. Natural resources. Gold, timber, industrial diamonds, bauxite, manganese, fish, rubber, hydropower. Petroleum, silver, salt, limestone. Land use. Agricultural land. 69.1%. Arable land. 20.7%. Slash permanent crops. 11.9%. Permanent pasture. 36.5%. Forest. 21.2%. Other. 9.7%. Irrigated land. 340 square kilometers. Population distribution. Population is concentrated in the southern half of the country, with the highest concentrations being on or near the Atlantic coast. Natural hazards Dry, dusty, northeast and harmat and winds from January to March. Droughts Environment, current issues Recurrent drought in north severely affects agricultural activities, deforestation, overgrazing, soil erosion, poaching and habitat destruction threaten wildlife populations, water pollution, Inadequate supplies of potable water. Environment, international agreements. Party to. Biodiversity, climate change, climate change Kyoto Protocol, desertification, endangered species, environmental modification, hazardous wastes, law of the sea, ozone layer protection, ship pollution, tropical timber 83, tropical timber 94, wetlands. Signed, but not ratified. Marine life conservation. Geography. Note. Lake Voltu is the world's largest artificial lake. Man-made reservoir, by surface area, 8,482 square kilometers, 3,275 square miles. The lake was created following the completion of the Akasumbo Dam in 1965, which holds back the White Voltu and Black Volta rivers. People and society. 
Ghana Population 29,340,248 Note Estimates for this country explicitly take into account the effects of excess mortality due to AIDS, this can result in lower life expectancy, higher infant mortality, higher death rates, lower population growth rates, and changes in the distribution of population by age and sex than would otherwise be expected. Country comparison to the world 49 Nationality Noun Ghanaian S Adjective Ghanaian Ethnic groups Okan 47.5% Moldagban 16.6% U 13.9% Gardang 7.4% Gurma 5.7% Guang 3.7%, Gru C 2.5%, Mand 1.1%, Other 1.4%. Languages Asant 16%, U 14%, Fant 11.6%, Boron, Brong 4.9%, Dagomba 4.4%, Dang 4.2%, Dargat, Dagaba 3.9%, Kirkomba 3.5%, Akin 3.2%, Gar 3.1%, other 31.2%. Note. English is the official language. Religions. Christian 71.2%, Pentecostal slash Charismatic 28.3%, Protestant 18.4%, Catholic 13.1%, other 11.4%, Muslim 17.6%, Traditional 5.2%, other 0.8%, Non 5.2% Demographic Profile Ghana has a young age structure, with approximately 57% of the population under the age of 25. Its total fertility rate fell significantly during the 1980s and 1990s but has stalled at around 4 children per woman for the last few years. Fertility remains higher in the northern region than the greater Accra region. On average, desired fertility has remained stable for several years. Urban dwellers want fewer children than rural residents. Increased life expectancy, due to better health care, nutrition, and hygiene, and reduced fertility have increased Ghana's share of elderly persons. Ghana's proportion of persons aged 60 plus is among the highest in sub-Saharan Africa. Poverty has declined in Ghana, but it remains pervasive in the northern region, which is susceptible to droughts and floods and has less access to transportation infrastructure, markets, fertile farming land, and industrial centers. The northern region also has lower school enrollment, higher illiteracy, and fewer opportunities for women. Ghana was a country of immigration in the early years after its 1957 independence, attracting labor migrants largely from Nigeria and other neighboring countries to mine minerals and harvest cocoa. Immigrants composed about 12% of Ghana's population in 1960. In the late 1960s, worsening economic and social conditions discouraged immigration, and hundreds of thousands of immigrants, mostly Nigerians, were expelled. During the 1970s, severe drought and an economic downturn transformed Ghana into a country of emigration. Neighboring Côte d'Ivoire was the initial destination. Later, hundreds of thousands of Ghanaians migrated to Nigeria to work in its booming oil industry but most were deported in 1983 and 1985 as oil prices plummeted. Many Ghanaians then turned to more distant destinations, including other parts of Africa, Europe, and North America, but the majority continued to migrate within West Africa. Since the 1990s, increased immigration of skilled Ghanaians, especially to the US and the UK, drained the country of its health care and education professionals. Internally, Poverty and other developmental disparities continue to drive Ghanaians from the north to the south, particularly to its urban centers. Age structure 0 to 14 years 37.44% Male 5,524,932 Female 5,460,943 15 to 24 years 18.64% Male 2,717,481 Female 2,752,601 25 to 54 years 
34.27%, male 4,875,985, female 5,177,959. 55 to 64 years. 5.21%, male 743,757, female 784,517. 65 years and over. 4.44%, male 598,387, female 703,686. Population pyramid. Population pyramid. Dependency ratios colon dependency ratios are a measure of the age structure of a population. They relate the number of individuals that are likely to be economically dependent on the support of others. Dependency ratios contrast the ratio of youths ages 0 to 14, and the elderly, ages 65 plus, to the number of those in the working age group, ages 15 to 64. Changes in the dependency ratio provide an indication of potential social support requirements resulting from changes in population age structures, as fertility leave. More are dependency ratios field listing. Total dependency ratio. 67.4. Youth dependency ratio. 62.2. Elderly dependency ratio. 5.3. Potential support ratio. 17.1. Median age. Total. 21.4 years. Male. 21 years. Female. 21.9 years. Country comparison to the world 185 Population growth rate call on the average annual percent change in the population, resulting from a surplus, or deficit, of births over deaths and the balance of migrants entering and leaving a country. The rate may be positive or negative. The growth rate is a factor in determining how great a burden would be imposed on a country by the changing needs of its people for infrastructure, e.g., schools, hospitals, housing roads, resources, e.g., food, water, electricity, and jobs. Rapid population growth can be seen as more a population growth rate field listing 2.15% country comparison to the world 38 birth rate 29.6 births out of 1,000 population country comparison to the world 34 death rate 6.6 .6 deaths out of 1,000 population. Country comparison to the world. 138. Net migration rate. Minus 1.6 migrants out of 1,000 population. Country comparison to the world. 156. Population distribution. Population is concentrated in the southern half of the country, with the highest concentrations being on or near the Atlantic coast. Urbanization. Urban population 57.3% of total population 2020 Rate of urbanization 3.34% annual rate of change Major urban areas Population 3.348 million Kumasi 2.514 million Accra Capital 946,000 Sekondi to Koradi 2020 Sex ratio At birth 1.03 male every 1 female 0 to 14 years 1.01 male every 1 female 15 to 24 years 0 0.99 male every 1 female 25 to 54 years 0 0.94 male every 1 female 55 to 64 years 0 0.95 male every 1 female 65 years and over 0 0.85 male every 1 female Total population 97.2 male every 1 female Mother's mean age at first birth 22.3 years Note Median age at first birth among women 25 to 29 Maternal mortality rate colon the maternal mortality rate MMR is the annual number of female deaths per 100,000 live births from any cause related to or aggravated by pregnancy or its management excluding accidental or incidental causes The MMR includes deaths during pregnancy childbirth or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy, irrespective of the duration in sight of the pregnancy, for a specified year. Maternal mortality rate field listing 308 deaths, slash 100, 000 live births, 
Country comparison to the world. 36. Infant mortality rate. Total. 32.1 deaths out of 1,000 live births. Male. 35.9 deaths out of 1,000 live births. Female. 28.2 deaths out of 1,000 live births. Country comparison to the world. 49. Life expectancy at birth. Total population. 68.2 years. Male. 65.6 years. Female. 70.8 years. Country comparison to the world. 176. Total fertility rate. 3.9 children born. Woman. Country comparison to the world. 32. Contraceptive prevalence rate coal on this field gives the percent of women of reproductive age, 15 to 49, who are married or in union and are using, or whose sexual partner is using, a method of contraception according to the date of the most recent available data. The contraceptive prevalence rate is an indicator of health services, development, and women's empowerment. It is also useful in understanding, past, present, and future fertility trends, especially in developing countries. Contraceptive prevalence rate field listing 30.8% Drinking water source Improved Urban 92.6% of population Rural 84% of population Total 88.7% of population Unimproved Urban 7.4% of population Rural 16% of population Total 11.3% of population Current health expenditure Current health expenditure, CHE, describes the share of spending on health in each country relative to the size of its economy. It includes expenditures corresponding to the final consumption of health care goods and services and excludes investment, exports, and intermediate consumption. CHE shows the importance of the health sector in the economy and indicates the priority given to health in monetary terms. Note. Current health expenditure replaces the former health expenditures field. More a current health expenditure field listing. 4.4% Physicians density. 0.18 physicians out of 1,000 population. Hospital bed density. 0.9 beds out of 1,000 population. Sanitation facility access. Improved. Urban. 20.2% of population. Rural. 8.6% of population. Total. 14.9% of population. Unimproved. Urban. 79.8% of population. Rural. 91.4% of population. Total. 85.1% of population. HIV slash AIDS. Adult prevalence rate. 1.7%. Country comparison to the world. 29. HIV slash AIDS. People living with HIV slash AIDS. 330,000. Country comparison to the world. 22. HIV slash AIDS. Deaths. 14,000. Country comparison to the world. 16. Major infectious diseases. Degree of risk. Very high. 2020. Food or waterborne diseases. Bacterial and protozoal diarrhea. Hepatitis A and typhoid fever. Vector-borne diseases. Malaria, dengue fever, and yellow fever. Water contact diseases. Schistosomiasis. Animal contact diseases. Rabies. Respiratory diseases. Meaning a cockal meningitis. Obesity. Adult prevalence rate. 10.9% Country comparison to the world 136 Children under the age of 5 years underweight 11.2% Country comparison to the world 57 Education expenditures 3.6% of GDP Country comparison to the world 119 Literacy Definition Age 15 and over can read and write Total population 76.6% Male. 82%. Female. 71.4%. School life expectancy. Primary to tertiary education, school life expectancy, SLE, is the total number of years of schooling, primary to tertiary, that a child can expect to receive, assuming that the probability of his or her being enrolled in school at any particular future age is equal to the current enrollment ratio at that age. Caution must be maintained when utilizing this indicator in international comparisons. For example, 
A year or grade completed in one country is not necessarily the same in terms of educational content or quality. More school life expectancy. Primary to tertiary education. Field listing. Total. 12 years. Male. 12 years. Female. 11 years. Unemployment. Youth ages 15 to 24. Total. 15.2%. Male 15.8% Female 14.6% Country comparison to the world 90 Government Ghana Country name Conventional long form Republic of Ghana Conventional short form Ghana Former Gold Coast Etymology Named for the medieval West African kingdom of the same name but whose location was actually further north than the modern country Government type Presidential Republic Capital Name Accra Geographic coordinates 533N 013 Watt Time difference Book 0 5 hours ahead of Washington, D.C. during Standard Time Etymology The name derives from the Akan word Nkren meaning ants and refers to the numerous antils in the area around the capital Administrative divisions 16 regions Arfo Ashanti Bono Bono East Central Eastern Greater Accra, Northeast, Northern, OT, Savannah, Upper East, Upper West, Volta, Western, Western North. Independence for most countries, this entry gives the date that sovereignty was achieved and from which nation, empire, or trusteeship. For the other countries, the date given may not represent independence in the strict sense, but rather some significant nationhood event such as the traditional founding date or the date of unification. Federation, Confederation, Establishment, Fundamental Change in the Form of Government, or State Succession. For a number of countries, the Establishment of Statehood. More Independence Field Listing The 6th of March 1957, from the UK. National Holiday Independence Day, the 6th of March, 1957. Constitution History Several previous Latest drafted the 31st of March 1992, approved and promulgated the 28th of April 1992, entered into force the 7th of January 1993. Amendments Proposed by Parliament. Consideration requires prior referral to the Council of State, a body of prominent citizens who advise the President of the Republic. Passage of amendments to entrenched constitutional articles, including those on national sovereignty, fundamental rights and freedoms, the structure and authorities of the branches of government, and amendment procedures, requires approval in a referendum by at least 40% participation of eligible voters and at least 75% of votes cast, followed by at least two-thirds majority vote in Parliament, and assent of the President, amendments to non-entrenched articles do not require referenda, amended 1996. Legal System mixed system of English common law and customary law International Law Organization participation has not submitted an ICJ jurisdiction declaration except sick jurisdiction citizenship citizenship by birth no citizenship by descent only at least one parent or grandparent must be a citizen of Ghana dual citizenship recognized yes residency requirement for naturalization five years suffrage 18 years of age, universal, executive branch, chief of state, president Nanu Adadankwa Kufo Addo, since the 7th of January 2017, vice president Muhammad Uboy Maya, since the 7th of January 2017, the president is both chief of state and head of government, head of government, president Nanu Adadankwa Kufo Addo, since the 7th of January 2017, Vice President Muhammad Uboy Maya, since the 7th of January 2017. Cabinet. Council of Ministers, nominated by the President, approved by Parliament. Elections slash appointments. President and Vice President directly elected on the same ballot by absolute majority popular vote in two rounds if needed for a four-year term. Eligible for a second term, election last held on the 7th of December 2016. Next to be held in December 2020. Election results. Nanu Adadankwa Kufo Addo elected president in the first round. Percent of vote. Nanu Adadankwa Kufo Addo, 
NPP 53.7%, John Dramani Mahama, NEC 44.5%, other 1.8%. Legislative Branch Description Unicameral Parliament, 275 seats. Members directly elected in single-seat constituencies by simple majority vote serve four-year terms. Elections Last held on 7 December 2016, next to be held in December 2020. Election results Percent of vote by party 54% and 44% Other 2% Seats by party 171 and 104 Composition Men 240 Women 35 Percent of women 12.7% Judicial branch Highest courts Supreme Court Consists of the Chief Justice and 13 Justices Judge selection in term of office Chief Justice appointed by the President in consultation with the Council of State A small advisory body of prominent citizens, and with the approval of Parliament Other Justices appointed by the President upon the advice of the Judicial Council An 18-member independent body of Judicial, Military and Police officials, and Presidential nominees And on the advice of the Council of State Justices can retire at age 60, with compulsory retirement at age 70. Subordinate Courts Court of Appeal, High Court, Circuit Court, District Court, Regional Tribunals Political Parties and Leaders Note Ghana has more than 20 registered parties, included of five of the more popular parties as of May 2017. International Organization Participation ACP, FPO, C, E. Cowers EITI, Compliant Country, FAO, G24, G77, EA, IBD, ICAO, ICC, National Committees, ICT, ICM, IDA, IFAD, IF, IFX, ELO, IMF, EMO, IMSO, Interpol, IOC, IOM, IPU, ISO, ITSO, ITU, ITUC, NGOs, MIGA, MINERSO, MINUSMA, MONUSCO, NAM, OAS, Observer, OIF, OPC, UN, UNAMID, UNCTAD, UNESCO, UNHCR, UNIDO, UNIFIL, UNISFA, UNMIL, UNMIS, UNOC, UNUTO, UPU, UCO, UF2, NGOs, WHO, WIPO, UMO, RITO. Diplomatic representation in the US. Ambassador Barfara J. Barwua, since the 21st of July 2017. Chancery. 3,512 International Drive Northwest. Washington, D.C. 2008. Telephone. 1-202-686-4520. Fax. 1-202-686-4527. Consulates General. New York. Diplomatic representation from the U.S. Chief of Mission. Ambassador Stephanie S. Sullivan, since the 30th of November 2018. Telephone. 233030. 274 1 treble o embassy 24 fourth circular road cantonments accra post office box 2288 accra mailing address post office box 194 accra fax 233030274 flag description three equal horizontal bands of red top yellow and green with a large black five-pointed star centered in the yellow band. Red symbolizes the bloodshed for independence. Yellow represents the country's mineral wealth, while green stands for its forests and natural wealth. The black star is said to be the lodestar of African freedom. Note. Uses the popular Pan-African colors of Ethiopia, similar to the flag of Bolivia, which has a coat of arms centered in the yellow band. National symbols A national symbol is a faunal, floral, or other abstract representation, or some distinctive object, that over time has come to be closely identified with a country or entity. Not all countries have national symbols, a few countries have more than one dot national symbols field listing. Black Star, Golden Eagle, National Colors, Red, Yellow, Green, Black. National Anthem colon a generally patriotic musical composition usually in the form of a song or hymn of praise that evokes and eulogizes the history, traditions, or struggles of a nation or its people. National anthems can be officially recognized as a national song by a country's constitution or by an enacted law, or simply by tradition. 
although most anthems contain lyrics, some do not. National anthem field listing. Name. God bless our homeland Ghana. Lyrics. Music. Unknown slash Philip Beho. Note. Music adopted 1957. Lyrics adopted 1966. The lyrics were changed twice. In 1961 a republic was declared on after a 1966 coup. Economy. Ghana. Economy. Overview. Ghana has a market-based economy with relatively few policy barriers to trade and investment in comparison with other countries in the region, and Ghana is endowed with natural resources. Ghana's economy was strengthened by a quarter century of relatively sound management, a competitive business environment, and sustained reductions in poverty levels, but in recent years has suffered the consequences of loose fiscal policy, high budget and current account deficits, and a depreciating currency. Agriculture accounts for about 20% of GDP and employs more than half of the workforce, mainly small landholders. Gold, oil, and cocoa exports, and individual remittances, are major sources of foreign exchange. Expansion of Ghana's nascent oil industry has boosted economic growth. But the fall in oil prices since 2015 reduced by half Ghana's oil revenue. Production at Jubilee Ghana's first commercial offshore oil field began in mid December 2010. Production from two more fields, Ten and Sankofa, started in 2016 and 2017 respectively. The country's first gas processing plant at Atuobo is also producing natural gas from the Jubilee field, providing power to several of Ghana's thermal power plants. As of 2018, Key economic concerns facing the government include the lack of affordable electricity, lack of a solid domestic revenue base, and the high debt burden. The Akufo-Addo administration has made some progress by committing to fiscal consolidation, but much work is still to be done. Ghana signed a $920 million extended credit facility with the IMF in April 2015 to help it address its growing economic crisis. The IMF fiscal targets require Ghana to reduce the deficit by cutting subsidies, decreasing the bloated public sector wage bill, strengthening revenue administration, boosting tax revenues, and improving the health of Ghana's banking sector. Priorities for the new administration include rescheduling some of Ghana's $31 billion debt, stimulating economic growth, reducing inflation, and stabilizing the currency. Prospects for new oil and gas production and follow-through on tighter fiscal management are likely to help Ghana's economy in 2018. GDP, Purchasing Power Parity $134 billion $123.6 billion $119.2 billion Note Data were in 2017 dollars Country comparison to the world 80 GDP, Official Exchange Rate 47.02 billion dollars GDP real growth rate 8.4% 3.7% 3.8% country comparison to the world 7 GDP per capita PPP 4700 dollars 4500 dollars 4400 dollars Note. Date were in 2017 dollars. Country comparison to the world. 172. Gross national saving. Gross national saving is derived by deducting final consumption expenditure, household plus government, from gross national disposable income, and consists of personal saving, plus business saving, the sum of the capital consumption allowance and retained business profits, plus government saving, the excess of tax revenues over expenditures, but excludes foreign saving, the excess of imports of goods and services over exports. The figures are presented as a percent of GDP. A negative. More gross national saving field listing. 9% of GDP. 7.8% of GDP. 9% of GDP. Country comparison to the world. 167. GDP. Composition by end use household consumption 80.1% government consumption 8.6% investment in fixed capital 13.7% investment in inventories 1.1% exports of goods and services 43% imports of goods and services minus 46.5% GDP composition 
by sector of origin. Agriculture, 18.3%. Industry, 24.5%. Services, 57.2%. Agriculture, products, cocoa, rice, cassava, manioc, tapioca, peanuts, corn, shea nuts, bananas, timber, industries, mining, lumbering, light manufacturing, aluminum smelting, food processing, cement, small commercial shipbuilding, petroleum, industrial production growth rate, 16.7%, country comparison to the world, 2, labor force, 12.49 million, country comparison to the world, 47, labor force, by occupation, agriculture, 44.7%, industry, 14.4%, services, 40.9%, unemployment rate, 11.9%, 5.2%, country comparison to the world, 158, population below poverty line national estimates of the percentage of the population falling below the poverty line are based on surveys of subgroups, with the results weighted by the number of people in each group. Definitions of poverty vary considerably among nations. For example, rich nations generally employ more generous standards of poverty than poor nations. Population below poverty line field listing 24.2%. Household income or consumption by percentage share data on household income or consumption come from household surveys, the results adjusted for household size. Nations use different standards and procedures in collecting and adjusting the data. Surveys based on income will normally show a more unequal distribution than surveys based on consumption. The quality of surveys is improving with time, yet caution is still necessary in making inter-country comparisons. Household income or consumption by percentage share field listing. Lowest 10%. 2%. Highest 10%. 32.8%. Budget. Revenues. 9.544 billion. Expenditures 12.36 billion Taxes and other revenues 20.3% of GDP Country comparison to the world 149 Budget surplus, plus, or deficit, dash Minus 6% of GDP Country comparison to the world 183 Public debt 71.8% of GDP 73.4% of GDP. Country comparison to the world. 46. Fiscal year. Calendar year. Inflation rate. Consumer prices. 12.4%. 17.5%. Country comparison to the world. 206. Current account balance. Minus $2.131 billion. Minus $2.86 billion. Country comparison to the world 168 Exports 13.84 billion dollars 11.14 billion dollars Country comparison to the world 77 Exports Partners India 23.8% UA 13.4% China 10.8% Switzerland 10.1% Vietnam 5.2% Burkina Faso 4% Exports Commodities, oil, gold, cocoa, timber, china, bauxite, aluminum, manganese ore, diamonds, horticultural products. Imports, $12.65 billion. $12.91 billion. Country comparison to the world. 92. Imports, commodities. Capital equipment, refined petroleum, foodstuffs. Imports, partners. China 16.8%. US 8%, UK 6.2%, Belgium 5.9%, India 4.1%. Reserves of foreign exchange and gold. $7.555 billion. $6.162 billion. Country comparison to the world. 81. Debt, external. $22.14 billion. $16.5 billion. Country comparison to the world. 90. Exchange rates. CDIS. GHC. Per US dollar dash. 4.385. 3.909. 3.909. 3.712. 2.895. Energy. Ghana. Electricity access. 
population without electricity. 5 million. Electrification. Total population. 79.3%. Electrification. Urban areas. 89.8%. Electrification. Rural areas. 66.6%. Electricity. Production. 12.52 billion kilowatt hour. Country comparison to the world. 94. Electricity. Consumption. 9.363 billion kilowatt hour. Country comparison to the world. 99. Electricity. Exports. 187 million kilowatt hour. Country comparison to the world. 76. Electricity. Imports. 511 million kilowatt hour. Country comparison to the world. 79. Electricity. Installed generating capacity. 3.801 million kilowatt. Country comparison to the world. 92. Electricity from fossil fuels. 58% of total installed capacity. Country comparison to the world. 135. Electricity from nuclear fuels. 0% of total installed capacity. Country comparison to the world. 96. Electricity from hydroelectric plants. 42% of total installed capacity. Country comparison to the world. 48. Electricity from other renewable sources. 1% of total installed capacity. Country comparison to the world. 153. Crude oil production. 173,000 barrel day. Country comparison to the world. 37. Crude oil exports. 104,000 barrel day. Country comparison to the world. 34. Crude oil imports. 6,220 barrel day. Country comparison to the world. 74. Crude oil proved reserves. 660 million barrel. Country comparison to the world. 41. Refined petroleum products production. 2,073 barrel day. Country comparison to the world. 104. Refined petroleum products consumption. 90,000 barrel day. Country comparison to the world. 83. Refined petroleum products exports. 2,654 barrel day. Country comparison to the world. 100. Refined petroleum products imports. 85,110 barrel day. Country comparison to the world. 59. Natural gas production. 914.4 million cubic meter. Country comparison to the world. 68. Natural gas consumption. 1.232 billion cubic meter. Country comparison to the world. 87. Natural gas exports. 0 cubic meters. Country comparison to the world. 110. Natural gas imports. 317.4 million cubic meter. Country comparison to the world. 68. Natural gas proved reserves. 22.65 billion cubic meter. Country comparison to the world. 73. Carbon dioxide emissions from consumption of energy. 13.67 million mount. Country comparison to the world. 96. Communications. Ghana. Telephones. Fixed lines. Total subscriptions. 278,379. Subscriptions per 100 inhabitants. 1. Country comparison to the world. 116. Telephones, mobile cellular. Total subscriptions. 40,934,875. Subscriptions per 100 inhabitants. 146. Country comparison to the world. 37. Telephone system. General assessment. Primarily microwave radio relay. Wireless local lip has been installed. New universal access licenses. Government invested in fiber infrastructure, one of the most active mobile markets in Africa. Domestic. Fixed line 1 per 100 subscriptions. Competition among multiple mobile cellular providers has spurred growth with a subscribership of more than 146 per 100 persons in rising. International. Country code minus 233. Landing points for the SAT 3 slash WASC, Mainoni, ACE. WACS and GLOW-1 fiber optic submarine cables that provide connectivity to South and West Africa, and Europe, satellite earth stations minus 4 Intelsat, Atlantic Ocean, 
Microwave radio relay linked to Pnaftel system connects Ghana to its neighbors. 2019. Broadcast media. State-owned TV station. Two state-owned radio networks. Several privately owned TV stations and a large number of privately owned radio stations. Transmissions of multiple international broadcasters are accessible. Several cable and satellite TV subscription services are obtainable. Internet country code. Dot. Internet users. Total. 9,328,018. Percent of population. 34.7%. Country comparison to the world. 49. Broadband. Fixed subscriptions. Total. 62,320. Subscriptions per 100 inhabitants. Less than 1. Country comparison to the world. 130. Military and security. Ghana. Military expenditures. 0.41% of GDP. 0.4% of GDP. 0.38% of GDP. 0.52% of GDP. 0.68% of GDP. Country comparison to the world. 150. Military and security forces. Ghana Armed Forces. Army, Navy, Air Force. 2019. Military service age and obligation. 18 to 26 years of age for voluntary military service, with basic education certificate, no conscription, must be HIV slash AIDS negative. Maritime threats. West African piracy more than doubled in 2018 to become the most dangerous area in the world. The waters off of Ghana saw a dramatic increase with 10 attacks reported in 2018 compared with only one in 2017, 8 ships were boarded, 1 hijacked, and 47 crew taken hostage or kidnapped. Transportation Ghana National Air Transport System Number of registered air carriers 4 Inventory of registered aircraft operated by air carriers 8 Annual passenger traffic on registered air carriers 390,457 Annual freight traffic on registered air carriers 844,613 Civil aircraft registration country code prefix 9G Airports 10 Country comparison to the world 155 Airports with paved runways Total 7 over 3047 M 1 2438 to 3047 M 1 1524 to 2437 M 3 914 to 1523 M 2 Airports with unpaved runways Total 3 914 to 1523 meters 3 Pipelines 394 kilometers gas, 20 kilometers oil, 361 kilometers refined products. Railways. Total. 947 kilometers. Narrow gauge. 947 kilometers 1.067 meter gauge. Country comparison to the world. 92. Roadways. Total 109,515 kilometers. Paved 13,787 kilometers. Unpaved 95,728 kilometers. Country comparison to the world 45. Waterways 1,293 kilometers. 168 kilometers for launches in lighters on Volta, Ankobra, and Tano rivers. 1,125 kilometers of arterial and feeder waterways on Lake Volta. Country comparison to the world. 56. Merchant Marine. Total. 48. By type. General Cargo 6. Oil Tanker 3. Other 39. 2019. Country comparison to the world. 118. Ports and Terminals. Major seaports. To Koradi, Tamer. Transnational issues. Ghana. Disputes. International. Disputed maritime border between Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire. Refugees and internally displaced persons. Refugees. Country of origin. 6,524. Côte d'Ivoire. Flight from 2010 post-election fighting. 2019. Ibs. 5,000. Land disputes between ethnic communities in the north in 2018. Trafficking in persons colon trafficking in persons is modern day slavery, involving victims who are forced, defrauded, 
or coerced into labor or sexual exploitation. The International Labor Organization, ELO, the UN agency charged with addressing labor standards, employment, and social protection issues, estimated in 2011 that 20.9 million people worldwide were victims of forced labor, bonded labor, forced child labor, sexual servitude, and involuntary servitude. Human trafficking is a multi-dimensional threat. Depri. More rare trafficking in persons field listing. Current situation. Ghana is a source, transit, and destination country for men, women, and children subjected to forced labor and sex trafficking. The trafficking of Ghanaians, particularly children, internally is more common than the trafficking of foreign nationals. Ghanaian children are subjected to forced labor in fishing, domestic service, street hawking, begging, portering, mining, quarrying, herding, and agriculture, with girls, and to a lesser extent boys, forced into prostitution. Ghanaian women, sometimes lured with legitimate job offers, and girls are sex trafficked in West Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. Ghanaian men fraudulently recruited for work in the Middle East are subjected to forced labor or prostitution, and a few Ghanaian adults have been identified as victims of false labor in the U.S. Women and girls from Vietnam, China, and neighboring West African countries are sex trafficked in Ghana. The country is also a transit point for sex trafficking from West Africa to Europe. Dear rating. Tier 2 watch list. Ghana does not fully comply with the minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking. However, it is making significant efforts to do so. Ghana continued to investigate and prosecute trafficking offences but was unable to ramp up its anti-trafficking efforts in 2014 because the government failed to provide law enforcement or protection agencies with operating budgets. Victim protection efforts decreased in 2014, with significantly fewer victims identified. Most child victims were referred to go-run facilities, but care for adults was lacking because the government did not provide any support to the country's Human Trafficking Fund for Victim Services or its two shelters. Anti-trafficking prevention measures increased modestly, including reconvening of the Human Trafficking Management Board, public awareness campaigns on child labor and trafficking, and anti-trafficking TV and radio programs.